Hi, this is Darren with strumpatterns.com, and in this lesson we're going to talk about how to hold your pick. Alright, so what I do is I hold out my hand as though I'm going to shake someone's hand, and then I'm just going to let the pick balance right on the edge, right on the end like this, on the side of my finger like this, and if I do this correctly, it's just going to bounce there. And then my thumb is going to come across at a right angle, come directly across holding it like this and it's going to look like that. So one of the things people will do is they will pinch the pick like this but when you do that it's going to spin all over on you like this. For one it has all this room on the sides of your fingers that the pick can just spin but also you have very little surface area of the pick that you're actually touching so it doesn't create much friction and it's not going to keep the pick in place. So by letting it be against the side of the finger, I have a large portion of my finger in contact with the pick. And then I can just put my thumb here for support, hold it steady, and then I can relax my grip. I don't have to have a, a death grip on my pick to keep it from spinning or flying out. And that's going to translate in a big way to improving your sound, to have a nice, fluid, relaxed sound. So let me demonstrate that. So here that is. We're going to use an E minor chord, and I'm going to first play it holding the pick tightly, and then I'm going to hold it lightly and relaxed in the second time. So here it is tight. And here it is relaxed. Again tight. Relaxed. Okay, so how you hold your pick uh, has a lot to do with the kind of sound you're going to get out of the guitar, how smooth and how harsh of a sound you're going to get. Okay? One thing to consider is where you hold your pick. You don't want to hold all the way against the back of the pick like this, but you also, of course, need to have a little bit of the pick sticking out. So I hold like this with just a little bit of the pick sticking out. And that will help create a more accurate and controlled stroke, more consistency. So if you're hitting in the middle of the pick right here against the strings, there's a lot of area of the pick where it could strike the strings. So it's harder to have accuracy and control of your pick because of all the area it could hit. So by just having a tiny amount of the pick sticking out, there's only a small portion of the pick that can actually strike the strings. So you'll have more consistency and regularity with your picking. And that should translate into more relaxed playing uh, and hopefully better speeds in the end. Some players, though, will play slightly differently, and they'll use their middle finger. So it's the basic position as the other way, and you can experiment with what feels more comfortable. And a lot of times uh, playing like this, I will have my index just over the edge, kind of over the rim of the pick right here. But I still have the side of my middle finger and my thumb in the same position. But players who play a lot of metal and tapping and that kind of technique and that style will often play with their pick like this. And I've seen, you know, like Van Halen and some others do this. And that way you can do your tapping and go right back to picking. But the basic principle is the same with your middle finger. But one thing about your middle finger is because it's the center point of your hand, it balances really well. And that can also give you a little more control. So one last tip has to do with the pick itself. Some people will find that they prefer a pick that has some sort of rough face to it. So like some of the writing will be raised and have kind of an etched feel to it. So something with kind of a scratched face to it. Or they'll even take a knife and kind of score up the face of the pick itself. So that way it won't slip around in your fingers so much. Uh, something I've also done with some of my students that have some problems with this is to take a hole punch and punch a hole th right through the pick. And as long as it's a decent quality material that's not going to split in two on you, you can do that and the flesh on flesh will help keep it in place. So try those different tips and try those two different grips to see which one works best for you. And remember to keep as relaxed a grip on your pick as you can to give yourself the best possible sound.
And that's it for this video, but it's not the end of the video series, so be sure to click here to catch the next video in the series. Also click here if you'd like to catch the very first video in the series. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, click here so that you don't miss out on future videos. Leave any questions or comments you have down below. Also, you could follow me on Facebook, Google+, or Twitter by clicking here. And if you'd like to support me and keep these videos coming, you can click here to make a donation. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video, and thank you for watching.